Ah. It is time for Wax of Contrition. Really excited about this one this week. We're going to be focused on, along with our Cad Lush, um, Zeke's Death Alley from 2001. We're so evil, we're actually minus 666. Or so said lead singer and guitarist of Zeke at a show I attended about 20 years ago. Born back in Seattle in 1993 by mainstays blind Marky Felchstone, his real name is Mark Yalowitz, and drummer Donnie Paycheck, Zeke Spotwell did speeding hardcore punk with classic rock and a love of hedonism as well as race cars. This approach led to an avalanche of seven-inch singles and their debut album, Super Sound Racing, in 1995. In the meantime, Zeke played out everywhere with everybody, honing one of the deadliest live assaults in the genre, with Felchtone barking out indecipherable Blitzkrieg song intros to kick off each one like he's quarterbacking an audible. Donnie Paycheck is the only drummer I've ever witnessed that can hammer along at 172 beats per minute and flip the bird to the crowd between each beat. It's a talent. There are certain things you just don't learn in jazz theory class. Good point. The band would make a few tweaks in the lineup as the new decade approached, finally settling what I would consider the classic lineup of Mark, Donnie, Sonny Riggs on guitar, and Jeff Metz on bass, who would eventually go on to play in High and Fire and Mutoid Man. Yep. Anyone unfamiliar with song titles like West Seattle Acid Party, Fuck All Night, or 302 Cubic Inch V8 Powered Blues have some serious back catalog catching up to do. Let's play a song. This is Death Alley. According to Felchtone, every Zeke album seemed to him like his last. He would typically quit the band after each release. Following several years with the Epitaph label and an outrageous number of live shows, Death Alley was composed quickly, supposedly because of a conversation he had with a fan who claimed he loved Zeke but hated metal. Marky claims that the record, he recorded the album and then quit the band immediately. But there is something special about Death Alley, particularly compared to the rough and ready early seven inches by the band. Not only is every song peppered with felt tone, insane twisted leads, but the guitar harmonies woven into the mix are all but dazzling. Engineering, mixing, and mastering were handed by several quite capable individuals, including Black Flag Descendants drummer Bill Stevenson. The band's signature blend of hardcore fury and rock and roll style blasts out of the gates from the very first track, Crossroads, steamrolling through angry power chords, freakish screams, and blistering leads for a proggy one minute, 39 seconds. Evidence of the band's progression from so many performances comes through strong in tracks like the mid-tempo Motorhead Informed, Evil Woman, the pounding pit churner, Arkansas Man, Marky was born there, to the impossible sounding harmonies that kick off into the night for a half hour of pure adrenaline that should please anyone who enjoys Thin Lizzy as much as they like Poison Idea, you can't top Death Alley. Like it says on their website, ZQ.com, congratulations, you just met your new favorite band. This is Arkansas Man. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. (laughs) 